We're back to the continuation of the segment from a few minutes ago. If you missed any, catch it on the Morning X podcast. This is the best of the Morning X on 99X. So she wakes up and I say, good morning, baby. How you doing? She says, I'm all right. I'm good. I said, uh, any statements you'd like to retract from last <laughs> night? Or, like to talk or do you remember? Yeah. Or is there anything you don't even remember? She sits up in bed, cold, sober, looks me right in the eye and she says, what's the matter? You don't want to be my husband? Wow. Oh, bam. My God. So. So. Um, cold sober, I said, yes. So you're getting married. The reason we held out for a month is her sister is getting married this weekend. Didn't want to steal any thunder. Congratulations, so we said, Crash. We said, all right. We said, we'll wait. Of course, I said, I will make this official when we get back from Pensacola and your sister's wedding. We haven't really set a date yet. Obviously, it'll probably be, I would imagine, about a year from now. But uh, I woke up that morning in the Palm Restaurant when I, or in the uh, Swiss Hotel, and when I opened up the blinds, I noticed the sun was bleeding and the seas were boiling. And the seventh revelation right. of the Bible has came to pass. Somebody call the pie reserved for the uh, wedding. Are we saying, <laughs> are you engaged? I'm saying I'm turning in my amateur card and going pro next year. You are, okay, now, you're, this is a lockdown. Rings is, are being exchanged, the whole thing. This that is, is just they, a Her sister's getting married this weekend, and so yeah. he's got to go through that first. Yeah, so, so we got to do Congratulations. The, that's unbelievable. I'm very that, happy for that's you. you. Wow. Now, does Jimmy, that mean that you now Jimmy. have to... Well, hey, this is conversation is about Crash. Uh, all of a sudden, all heads turn over to Jimmy. Crash is, like, so. Crash is like, I'm getting married! And then all the heads like swivel my way. Like, what, what do you mean? I have no stories. Someday, so, you too. Wait a minute. So, Do you now have to go... Now, here's the question. Now, mm-hmm. you know, Todd, I don't know if you remember this, but, you know, Todd's wife, Carol, asked him to yes. marry her as well. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. I remember. Uh, are you now required to go out and buy and go... Are you? Do you now have to go out and see Stan and Lou or Stan and... Dude, that's why he's doing the jewelry commercials. Who are the guys you... Come on, the fine folks at Solomon Brothers? Sol- but what are their names again? Uh, Ivan. Solomon. I- Ivan, Ivan, and- Ivan Solomon. Ivan, do you have to yeah. go see Ivan now? Can I go say hi to Ivan? <laughs> say, what's up, bro? <laughs> he'll be doing commercials so, for the rest of his life. Hi, it's me, Crash, paying off Lady Crash's ring. Yeah. Now, now, you haven't set a date. No, we haven't set a date. Now, what about, you know, people that, uh, I'm sure you've met couples who are like forever engaged, but they never set a date. Yeah. Eric the it, Web Gangsta. Is yeah. that really an engagement? Nine years. Yeah. Is that an engagement? Well, that's that's why you see this. This right, is Eric. I was I didn't I didn't want to say names, yeah. but that's just to <laughs> I didn't want to name names. I <laughs> ask him about it every time he's over, dude. When he, what are you doing? They've been engaged for nine. It's just not right yet. He's on the nine year plan. The time's not right yet. But isn't it that that when you're engaged, that means the time is right. In other words, you've already said, okay, the time is right. Let's take care of business. Some people use yeah. that as a stopgate for people just to quit asking them. Now, but, Crash, are you guys setting the date after next after this weekend? Yeah, basically, when we get back, because we're going to Pensacola, we're leaving tonight for her sister's wedding, which is this Saturday. So while we're there Saturday, that's the time I get to corral mom and dad and go, hey, by the way. Oh, so, you have to ask her parents. If I remember correctly, yeah. the last time you came back from her parents' house, you were not very happy. No, it was meet the parents, but not her parents, though. The family. It was some of the other family members. Her parents absolutely adore me, and I adore them, too. They are wonderful people. Well, let's talk. I mean, how do you feel? I, I'm incredible. Yeah, I, mean, I do. What does, I mean, it feel, what does it feel like once you once it settled the the the, the realization the reality set in? Reality you know. still has not set in. Rea- reality will set in when the ring is on her finger. We say, "Hey, we're going to do it May 11th or whatever of next year," and then the reality starts to set in. Like, "Hey, this is really what your future has in store for you." Now, have you told uh, your family? Uh, a select with- few of my family and friends know about it because, I mean, there's just no way you can contain yourself with something like this. I mean, Unbelievable. I, 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 you but, know. Your brother Tom knows, right? Yeah, Tom knows. Uh, I spoke to my father in Ocala, and he knows, and uh, a, a, couple of, a couple of friends of mine know, but obviously now... Uh, this is big more, news, people. people. This is big news. <laughs> Did you go through any, uh, any episodes of panic? Have you woken up in the middle of the night at any point... I mean, I would only be natural. I this would is think. where Jimmy conducts a one-on-one. On, well, no, uh, I'm just you know he's a bachelor. For, you're how old? Thirty-six. I'll be thirty-six this year. Yeah. Okay, August. thirty-six. No, actually, actually, it's it's a, it's a bizarre feeling, and I don't know whether it's because I'm older 
or or not, but it's it's almost as if I look at her now and and everything just seems really right. You kind of seem secure with it. You you're happy. You you know it's it, it's a good feeling. It's 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 hard to explain. You can't explain it. Jimmy's trying yeah. to figure out the signs. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy's trying like when am I gonna when are the back spasms Is gonna there turn an to like exit sign? <laughs> yeah. Do I see it? No, I'm just it's so it would seem. See, here's the thing: like the whole women asking men to get married. Because see, here's what we know: women always want to get married. Uh, women are born to get married. Women want to get married. Not every single one of you. I know there are a lot of okay, but in general, women are born and raised to get married. It's part of the wiring. So that's a given. But like men aren't, and so that's a very risky move when you ask a guy to marry you because the conventional wisdom would be. If the guy was ready to get married, he would have already done something about it. Yeah, that's why this totally took me by surprise. I mean, I I met her a year ago, and uh, you know, at first she wanted nothing to do with me. I mean, I had to court her for no. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, you know, that's you know how where, they all start. You know where we met? We we met at the German beer festival down at Lakewood last year. She exchanged her shirt for a ninety nine X shirt right up on stage in front of two thousand people. That's when I said, I got to get this girl's You got to get that woman. Yeah, you know, and I then of course, why. you know, things uh, came to pass and I courted her for a couple of months. She wanted nothing to do with me. Do you think that she intended on asking you that that night or it just happened? Well, she said she got tired of me, of, of waiting for me, which means this has been on her mind for, I wonder how long. Yeah, but had you guys talked about then, marriage before? Oh yeah, we, we brought it up about, you know, do you believe in marriage? Do you want children? And I said, yeah, of course, even though I'm 36, you know, I see, I could see myself married with children and settling down a little bit but, but you understand you have to live with her now and and all that stuff i know i can't bring home pie waitresses there's so many things that are yeah, in my sucks in my contract in the crash contract with life there are so many things that we have to have the lawyers start marking out now you know what though crash i've met lady crash i wouldn't rule out the uh, pie waitress rule right away not right I mean, off you the might bat, be able no. to massage that rule a little bit <laughs> todd could. when carol asked you to marry her were you just you just never got around it? Like, why did yeah, she... Yeah, why did it happen that way? Because you're a very organized, planning type of guy. Mm -hmm. She just beat me to it, honestly. I mean, I, I was I was honestly looking for the perfect time when everything was, you know... I mean, just, we were... It was the middle of the summer, and I mean, it, I was kind of waiting until about Christmas, so she beat me by about three or four months. You know, and what's weird about that is, like, ta your wife is so shy... I know. I, I cannot even imagine her asking Todd to marry I, him. I know. I, every, every time I think about that, it's unimaginable because she's very quiet and very shy, and that's a ballsy move. <laughs> How do you think I felt? I mean, I was just like, well, and congratulations, not, Crash. Uh, Thanks, sir. Yeah. Wow. I can't wait to see the whole thing unfold. Congratulations. That is, Crash, that <laughs> is huge. That's the, amazing. The best part about it is such unconventional. The wedding itself is going to be down in Pensacola on the beach. She wants the Tommy Lee Pamela no shoes on the sand perfect. type Air of thing. Perfect. flies to Pensacola. And, and, and that just absolutely perfect. <laughs> and, God, that just you works know, your out. Brother, your brother got married on this show. He I did. Really and, the radio got station, and the radio station paid for the whole thing. Yeah. Well, see, I well, wouldn't want something like that. No. Oh, yeah. now you're very low key. You, you wouldn't know. take the gimme wedding. No, I mean, I don't want my bachelor party sponsored by Budweiser. Uh, come on, come on. Can you imagine if you start working out now, you may be ready to, to go through his bachelor party. If, if you, you start started working out now. What do you mean if you started working to out now? To get fit enough to outlast his bachelor oh, party in a for, year. Yeah, forget that. But, you know, like, I. Like your bachelor party was, uh, you was weren't down, there. No, I wasn't there. It was in Austin, right? But I, because I don't like bachelor parties, and you knew I didn't like bachelor yep. parties, and I appreciate it. It's like the wedding. <laughs> but see, it's kind of like the wedding thing. Like it, nothing personal. You did me a no, favor, and I had no problem at all. No, and I was cool, and you know, it's not that I didn't wish you. <laughs> you well. probably just, stayed out of trouble. By I would have been. I would have been a stick in the mud. You know. Wait, so what's the point? Uh, I have a feeling, guys, that the stories are just starting. Yeah. I, I don't think this is like the end of an era. This is the I think beginning. This is the beginning of the, an era. <laughs> this is like this is like going to the second book in the Bible. I, 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 I'm just telling you, there's going to be just a whole slew of new things that are about to start happening. Whatever you do, oh God, do Where? not get married between September oh. and January. August, baby, preseason. Thank you very much. Yep. The best of the morning X. 99X.